Welcome to LightUp Essentials. This is a series of video tutorials on using LightUp. In this video, I want to concentrate just on the basics of getting up and running, of placing light sources in your SketchUp model and using LightUp to render the result. So I've got a simple model here. You'll notice these two balls. These are just regular SketchUp um, components that are automatically added um, to, your, to your model by LightUp and you can place them anywhere in your model to add a light source. You can see that the different colors they've been assigned, the component will be uh, the color of the light source. Up here I've got the um, light up toolbar, which is preferences here. I, you can see I've got it open actually over here. Uh, the query tool, which is used both for editing materials as well as placing and editing point light sources. Uh, this is Tor Tool, which is the real-time renderer of LightUp, and also the real-time post-production for editing things like exposure, depth of field, bloom, and all those sort of uh, good things. So if we start with this simple model, um, and I select Query Tool, and I just hover over it, you'll see that uh, it says Lumen 1200. Um, and that is, uh, it's a 1200 lumen uh, point light source, uh, very roughly equivalent to a traditional 75 watt bulb, not, not precisely, uh, roughly. Um, and also over here, it's also 1200, but it's obviously a different color. So what we're going to do is just click on that bulb, uh, on that light source, and here we can change color. So I just click, uh, I can yeah, make it a different color. You can see it changing over here. I can also um, click on this uh, button here to bring up the uh, IES file um, browser that's built into, into LightUp. So here we've got a whole bunch of IES files that um, uh, we've, we've got and you can browse to wherever you keep your IES files on your disk. Um, so as I click on these I get um, the different information about uh, what the penumbra is going to look like and. Uh, some other details. So I'll, I'll just choose one, press OK. Now if I hover over there now, um, you'll get uh, the information about the IES light and also these yellow lines which represent the, the uh, extent of the penumbra as it washes down the wall. So one of the things I can do is hold Shift down and uh, highlight that light and then use Alt. So if I just move around here. Use Alt to uh, aim the the, uh, the beam where you want. So if I just aim it in the middle of the room, there you go. So let's just press Total to start and see uh, where we're up to. Okay, so we've got uh, a couple of lights here. Uh, that's good. Um, you'll notice that um, because I've got I've turned use sun off, um, that uh, LightUp has created this uh, physical sky for us. Um, but uh, there's no there's no sunlight, so it's uh, it's sort of essentially a night sky. Um, if you want to just have no skybox, you can just check this and just have no skybox. Okay, let's just go back to SketchUp and grab our query tool again. Um, now the way uh, the query tool works is uh, you can just hover over uh, somewhere and just if you just click, it'll place you a point light. Um, and these are, because these are just regular components, I can highlight them and I can move them around. Um, where I want. Um, so if I shift click both of them and uh, click on the query tool, you'll see down here it says multiple lights. I'm editing both these at the same time. So I can choose a color just like before or I can use uh, some uh, Kelvin preset. So if I choose uh, yeah, um, a 6504 um, Kelvin 
sky, sky um, daylight color. So now I've got these two regular lights uh, that I've, I've edited, I've added. Um, this, is, this is the light that was there before, and this is our IES light. So again, I'll just... Okay, so we've got these two extra lights that we've got here. That's good. Okay, so let's just click back. Okay, on this side of the room here, um, I'm going to add a uh, area light. Uh, so again, I take the uh, query tool and I um, Apple or Control click um, to uh, over a material to edit its materials. And I'm just going to click on emitter to make this uh, an emitter. Uh, there's a number of controls here. So um, the most important one is Lux, which is the lumens per square meter of the area light. And that's going to be how powerful it is. I can just type something in or I can type in um, candela values if, uh, if that's one you want to use. Normally the color of this light source would be uh, the color of the material. But I can, again, I can type in um, a, a Kelvin value if that's what I need. So whereas with the query tool over a light source, I'm getting uh, its lumen value over a area light, it gets the um, density and the lux values and also shows the power of it uh, and the, its direction. Okay, so let's just hit um, tool tool again. Okay, so if you we look in here, we've got this big uh, area light um, that's illuminating this whole room. Uh, that's good. And we go next door, as it were, um, and we've got our point lights on this side. So one of the things. So here we've got area lights mixed with uh, point lights. If I go back to SketchUp. Uh, one of the things we can do is to choose the query tool and I'm just going to click on this orange light here to edit its uh, properties. Now here is a, a property called real-time dynamic and it allows me to um, mark lights as being something I want to animate. So if I just, um, I can use uh, shift to move this up and or just drag to change the uh, waveform. There's a variety of different uh, waveforms you can do. Um, in some ways, I'm not interested in what the animation is, just showing you the, the feature of being able to have dynamic light sources. So if we just close that now and start Tool Tool again. So you can see we've got a little bit of a, a not very exciting animation. Perhaps I should, uh, let's just edit that again. Easy to see. Okay, there we go. Um, and you can see the um, the light being animated and mi being mixed in with the regular lights. So I've got my IES light here. I've got this uh, dynamic light here, and also uh, these regular point lights and an area light over there. Okay. So lastly. Um, we want to add in some uh, sunlight. Uh, so we come over here and we click on use sun. And what that will do is uh, turn on the sun and use the location of the sun based on the geolocation of your model plus the time and time of year. So if I click on that. Okay, so now you can see all the other lights, but you can see the sunlight coming in uh, from this opening. And uh, the sun's up there. So um, I've got a whole range of different lights here. I've got dynamic lights, I've got uh, IES lights, I've got area lights, I've got regular point lights, and I've got my uh, sunlight over here. Now if I want to make that real time also, I can. Um, and what that means is that um, you will, um, as you change the time of day, all the shadows will dynamically update also. Um, You'll notice uh, now that I've got use sun marked that as I um, move the sun around, this, uh, this physical sky gets updated also. So let's just go ahead and click, click that. Start tool tool again. Okay, I'm just going to script. This is a, a, a constant ambient term. I'm just going to scrub it down just so that we don't get overblown. 
Okay, it looks very, very similar. The difference is, is that as I uh, change the time of day, I get, uh, I, I get the sun uh, change. You'll also notice if I come right down here and just turn this way, um, that the, the physical sky gets updated also. So I've, now I've got um, here, I've got a IES light being um, on the floor. I've got some regular point lights. I've got a dynamic point light over here that's being animated. I've got area lights here and I've got a uh, sunlight. I'm just getting the last glimmer of uh, daylight here. Um, you'll notice over here that there's this uh, controls for turbidity, which is uh, essentially it's going to give you the, the different uh, uh, sunsets you get from um, essentially pollution in the in the atmosphere. Um, so if I turn this right up to something bigger, then as we as we set set the sun, you get a much uh, much brighter. Um, so if I turn this right up, you'll get a much brighter. Um, uh, sort of uh, sunset. Okay, so just to recap, we've got uh, a whole bunch of different kind of lighting uh, here being used in uh, this simple model. We've got area lights over here. Um, we've got our dynamic um, sunlight, as well as uh, IES lights, local lights, and uh, we had also these just regular point lights in the corner.